In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune with all the journal locations. So the Shrine of Fortune is located in around D or C14 on the map here near Mermaid's Hideaway to the top left of the map. You'll know you're there when you see all these colorful spirals and the colored water over here. I recommend leaving your ship sailing in a circle while you go dive into the bottom of the ocean floor to go where you need to go. Now you're going to swim to the ocean floor on the side where there's a lot of debris and colorful rocks. You'll see there is a giant door here and the door has a hole near the bottom that you can swim through to enter the little shrine. Once you swim through the water, you'll come up there, go to the right immediately, and you'll see in this direction over here, you can take out your lantern, you'll see the first journal that you need to read is located right over here. Now if you run around the giant pillar that's in the middle of the room, you'll see there is a ladder on the opposite side of the entrance. You can climb up the ladder and you just keep proceeding this way over here. Go left once you reach the top and go to the pulley and use the pulley to lower the platform as low as it goes. All you gotta do now is jump over and get onto the other side there. You'll see there is a capstan. You're gonna go into the room. You're gonna go to the left immediately and you will see on the left side here by these glowing plants will be the second journal that you need to read. You'll see just ahead of that is a lever that you can use to open up the iron gate and you're going to jump across to this side over here and you're going to use the capstan and basically rotate the mast until it's into the correct position so that you can jump across. So now you're just going to parkour across here, make sure you are sprinting because these jumps are quite long, climb the ladder over here and you'll end up in a room where you can use a pulley over here. Now you can use this pulley and it will lower this mast over here, don't worry there is no timer, it will stay down the whole time. While you're adventuring in the shrine, you'll find loot that you can take to the mermaid statue that looks like this, and you can actually store up to 20 different unique pieces of loot that you can collect when you leave the shrine at the end. All right, so now we're going to leave the pulley over there, and we're going to head to where we need to jump. So just go down here, go back down the thing here, and you're going to jump across here, jump over here, jump onto this platform, and you're going to run across here. Basically, once you head back to the capstan over here, you're going to go into this big room that you were in earlier, and you're going to go up the giant ladder that is on this side. As soon as you climb the ladder, you'll see a pulley right in front of you. You're going to use this to pull the uh, platform all the way to the top just like this. Now run up on the side of the wall here, across the mast over here, onto the platform and onto the next mast just like this to make your way into the next room over here. Once you reach this room you're going to have to fight some Carl skeletons so defeat those before you can move on. Once you've killed the skeletons you can refresh your ammo over here and then go up here. Once you see these glowing plots directly in front of you you'll see the third journal that you need to read is literally just behind them right at the top over here. Now you're going to run along this pathway and you're going to lower this anchor, but when you lower the anchor you're going to have to jump on the platform that is going to start moving because you need to get on this one and then get on the next one that's going to be coming towards you, much like this that you're going to see over here just to get to that ocean crawler right at the very end. Now just head up that pathway behind the ocean crawler and you'll see there's a bunch of moss here that you can run across to get to this side and then you're going to go right to the other ocean crawler here if you didn't kill it with a sniper rifle or pistol and then you're going to kill him and then you're going to go up the ladder directly behind him into the next area, the final phase of this shrine. Now when you get to this zone over here you'll immediately be thrust into a fight with some ocean crawlers and some coral skeletons. Now at the entrance when you're on the bridge and you look to the left you'll see this giant glowing red coral piece thing over here. Now you're going to look to the left of this in this area over here and you will see the fourth journal is hidden right by these kind of plants and things over here so you can read that one over there. Back on the bridge again we're going to go across the platform here and we're going to go up here to continue our pathway. You'll notice the path goes to the left but you can take a shortcut by jumping to the right but do note that sometimes there's treasure at the end of that piece there. Now just follow this pathway all the way up into the next chamber. Once you get into this room you're going to go up the pathway to the left over here. Then you're going to find a ship wheel at the top here that's going to rotate the mast in front of you. You're going to want to put it roughly around here so that you can jump onto the ledge on the right side there. So here and then straight across to this side over here just like that. Now run along the pathway again and you'll get to another ship wheel that you're going to rotate to reach the platform on the opposite side of the room in front of you. Do this with the long end pointing towards you, the long end of the mast. So you can jump on like this and run across and jump off the other end like this and then climb up the ladder. At the top of the ladder, there'll be another wheel that you can rotate. You're going to put the moss to be on the left side and the flat end over there so that you can run across and jump to the right platform with the wheel over here so that you can rotate this one so that you line up the pointy end towards the left platform on the ramp on the left of you just like this so that you can run across this one and get to the final stage of this. Now once you see the mermaid on the left here, you're going to look to the right and you're going to jump across here over the broken ship bottom piece and you're going to see the final journal, the fifth journal that you need to read is located next to this blue plant right over there. 
If you look behind you from the journal, you'll see there's a ramp over here that you can use to jump onto the top of the crow's nest over here. Just be careful, it's a tricky kind of jump. And you're gonna jump on here, jump on the coral pieces, and then you're gonna jump onto this platform over here. And this is the end of the loot. This is the loot that you need to kind of collect. This is, that's it. That's everything in the shrine. Now you just go jump down here, put it in the mermaid statue, and you can return to your ship from here and go sail to an outpost and sell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you thought it was helpful, and thank you so much for watching.